Welcome, everybody, to the Channel Vision Magazine webinar featuring Bicom Systems, which is going to share with you the benefits of virtual and management networks and how to get these through Bicom Systems Serverware 4.2 virtualization platform. I'm your host, Bruce Christian, Senior Editor of Channel Vision Magazine. Our Bicom System guests are Yasmin Mazet, Product Owner, and Patrice Bramont, Business Success Manager. Thank you, Bruce, for this nice intro. Um, our agenda today is going to be about different topics that we are going to cover. My colleagues is going to dive into all the technical aspects of virtual and management networks. I will try to cover some sales and benefit for the end users and for the partners uh, of using these uh, very nice topics. And as Bruce mentioned, we're going to have plenty of time at the end to explain and to hear from you what would be your uh, uh, questions that you may have about serverware and about virtual and management networks. I'd like to start this with having some, uh, um, some kind of a, a you know, simple definition about what virtual and management networks are. Simply put, a virtual network is a way to connect computers and servers over the internet using software management. That's very simply put. And again, my colleague Yasmin is going to cover much more aspect of this. Uh, in comparison to phys physical network, it basically expands all network capabilities. Uh, there are no cables and computers involved. Management networks, on the other hand, is the safety aspect of virtual networks. Uh, at Bicom Systems, it secures communications in serverware between hosts and all the controllers that would be attached. I also would like to highlight a few numbers uh, about the volume that we're talking about here. The global network management systems market was estimated at 6.7 billion US dollars in 2020. And as you can see on the slide, is expected to grow to 12.2 billion by 2027. So that's nearly, nearly double the size in seven years. So to say the least, it's going to be a, a crucial and a key market for any MSPs in the next decade. So I will now pass the mic on to my colleague, Yasmin Mezet, for technical aspects of these nice features. Yasmin? Thank you, Patrice. So hello again from my side. And for those who join later, to briefly introduce myself, my name is Yasmin Mezet, and I'm the product owner in Bicom Systems. And I'm responsible for, for serverware product. So my colleague Patrice made an interesting insight uh, regarding virtual management network. Uh, and I'm going to briefly take you through their benefits and later on how we utilize them in our product. So when we talk about visualization, we uh, let's call it that way, practically talk about uh, software abstraction of physical infrastructure or physical infrastructure services. And also for better understanding, uh, virtual networks can be easily compared to virtual machines, although there are some operational differences. Uh, though we are talking about infrastructure abstraction, uh, virtual networks per se come on top of the underlying uh, physical network. And yet they are easily, uh, uh, they, are, they are easy to, to uh, they are, uh, they easily allow network scalability. As a result, uh, no additional networking infrastructure is required. So we have uh, less investment in infrastructure and in parallel, we have much less work to execute when creating uh, new virtual networks in uh, comparison to physical cabling, the configurational hubs and routers, etc. Also, uh, there is a more flexibility when it comes to creating new applications. Uh, the virtual uh, network facilitates the creation of new applications based on the microservice infrastructure. Uh, when it comes to management network uh, and its benefits, I will briefly tackle it. But uh, before uh, talking about it, uh, I must say that we cannot practically divide it from the virtual networks. And after all, you will hear it and uh, see it later from the serverware as a product of integrated services. Um, management network 
It's not a standardized, a standardized networking system. Uh, from uh, where we are standing, uh, a management network is a derivative of uh, visual networks, and its primary focus is on security, like my colleague uh, already said. As a result, uh, we have additional layer of security which is automatically configured. So management network, uh, or shortly MAN as we call it, is making the most of virtual networks by creating firstly a zero configuration VPN interface based uh, on virtual networks technology, and secondly, reduced uh, surface area for attackers. Okay, so uh, let's see on the next slides. Uh, how we managed to create significantly uh, security features in serverware by introducing virtual networks. But uh, before that, uh, just to put all earlier mentioned into the right context, uh, I will shortly jump on what the serverware uh, is all about. So uh, what is actually serverware and what are the key components of the uh, serverware? That will help us understanding uh, how the virtual networks are uh, uh, in, in, included in our product. So as you can see on the uh, uh, slide, the, it is a virtualization platform uh, with the purpose to host telephony and unified communications in the cloud, uh, delivering a wide range of IP services and applications with high uptime, uh, stability and reliability. And uh, what is uh, important uh, to be acquainted with uh, for, for better understanding of uh, next uh, slides are the key components of uh, the product, which are uh, storage server, uh, processing host or hosts, uh, where virtual servers are executed, controller and the networking devices. Uh, also, serverware comes in three uh, editions. Uh, the first one, and then the basic one, is a standalone edition, which enables customers to install it on a single server. Uh, because this uh, edition processing power and data storage are provided by a single server, it does not provide high availability for hosted services. And also, uh, the, the backup in this case is up to customers to establish. A mirror addition adds a layer of protection to your data. So uh, to provide high availability of hosted services, two identical servers, primary and secondary, uh, must be connected uh, wired in a back-to-back -back configuration. Data uh, are synchronized in real time between these servers from fire primary to secondary. And the mirror addition is comparable to the standalone addition in terms of which are service computing capacity, as these VPSs uh, may run exclusively on the primary server. And the last one, the more, most complex one, uh, is the cluster edition. And it is comparable to a mirror edition, except that includes the option to extend the processing capability of the VPSs by adding more physical hosts. So physical machines. While uh, it is possible to run virtual service on the mirror, this is not something that we encourage to do. Uh, given the mirror pair of servers, principal job in the cluster edition is to offer fault tolerant storage to number of processing hosts. Uh, virtual ser uh, private service or VPSs uh, running on processing hosts uh, save their data on the storage server. So to effect, 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 effectively offload uh, VPS uh, processing from the mirror pair and uh, use it on only for storage, two or more extra hosts devoted to VPS processing must be provided during the mirror to cluster addition upgrade. But they are all here. Uh, these all additions are available to serve and fulfill different customer needs. So uh, to back where we, where we want to be uh, regarding the virtual networks, uh, serverware relies on wireguard communication protocol uh, to define uh, 
virtual private networks or VPNs uh, that are the uh, foundation of serverware uh, virtual networks. These networks are by its design encrypted. Uh, so they are providing a secure way to isolate and uh, to protect communication between VPSs hosted on the uh, same cluster. So serverware uh, 4.2, our last uh, release provides system administrators the option to easily define uh, additional virtual networks and to assign IP address pool. So you can see it on the uh, screenshot on the slide. Uh, with supported IPv4 and IPv6 uh, protocols. So they are easy to build, uh, configurable and uh, manageable. So consequently, and uh, to put it more plainly, you can build a dedicated virtual network for a domain, uh, allowing the VPSs belonging to that domain to communicate to each other uh, through it securely while uh, other VPSs belonging to other domains uh, hosted on the same cluster will not be able to see the traffic. Uh, since created virtual network is assigned to a dedicated domain, uh, an administrator can now select desired VPSs and uh, add the IP address from the subnet pool. Well, to have some uh, use case uh, for internal purpose, with virtual networks, we can broaden the list of available IP addresses. And for example, uh, for the purpose of uh, uh, development of new features, uh, when there is a need for multiple VPSs. And I don't know, there is a lack of uh, available uh, IP address. And this is where uh, virtual networks uh, come uh, on our side. On the other side, uh, from the customer perspective, uh, the customers who want to distribute uh, microservice products using uh, numerous VPSs, uh, with secure communication uh, can benefit uh, uh, using virtual networks. And for the future insights, uh, as a teasing, we, uh, VPSs will be able to securely communicate not only to VPSs on the same domain and the cluster, but also to VPSs on different clusters. So for more complex uh, uh, products. Uh, okay, so serverware has uh, utilized virtual networks among uh, all above mentioned to boost security. Implementation of new features uh, showed us that we need to expose serverware modules and APAs uh, to the outside world as little as possible. The idea behind uh, protecting serverware's functionality was clear. Uh, we, we, uh, we must create a closed and a secured implicit uh, network. So if you bind uh, all or most of it, the server components to this network, we will proportionally uh, reduce the surface area uh, for attackers and greatly improve the security aspects of serverware. So using the same logic of virtual networks, uh, uh, include a VPN technology, and IPv6 addresses for a dynamic setup, we created a dedicated and implicit virtual network interface uh, called Management Network or shortly MAN uh, for automatically establishing uh, secure communication between serverware core components. If you can remember, uh, and these are the controller on one side and the host on the other side. As soon as a new host is added to a cluster, it will be automatically attached to this network. So from now on, from the serverware 4.2 release, on each host, as well as a, uh, the controller, there will be a dedicated, automatically configured virtual interface named MAN that will be used for secure communication between serverware components running on different hosts in the cluster. Okay, so now that we have got a little bit more familiar, I hope so, uh, you did 
uh, with the serverware as a product and uh, the two uh, extremely important networking and security features, I will take you just a little of your time to shortly walk you through the rest of our product key features. So among many useful, there are several that deserve a bit more attention. Uh, first of all, uh, Serboware provides intuitive and comprehensive graphical user interface for managing key elements of the product. And these are hosts uh, from host you know, to domains uh, and the most importantly, uh, virtual servers or VPSs. Mandatory add-on is a system status dashboard for visual representation of serverware networks, most significant performance and status indicators. And along with real-time alerts uh, that customers can customize based on their needs. But when it comes uh, to security, there's a great uh, built-in feature to provide secure access for uh, BICOM support uh, via the encrypted channel. So there is no need for customers to share uh, credentials. So, uh, uh, for access to the system to us. To company or our, our high standard or high uptime and availability, uh, we developed an outstanding data redundancy and takeover service called the uh, Geo Redundancy. Many of you know it as a disaster recovery site. Uh, and beside that, we additionally, there is a site availability monitoring as add-on to this reach redundancy system. It is a service uh, for uh, automatic takeover. And one of the newcomers uh, beside virtual networks and management network is the DNS service record. And this is an integrated DNS server function that uh, can act as an authoritative server for a DNS zone. So each uh, VPS hosted on serverware cluster will be assigned a name in the zone and can be reached using its domain name rather than its IP address. So I, I don't need to mention how much time is spared uh, with this uh, function. Uh, so this is all from my side. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed and uh, thank you very much for your attention and your time. I will hand over now uh, Mike to Patrice. Thank you, Yasmin. Um, so uh, again, as I'm not the technical guy and Yasmin went through loads of technical interesting details, what I'd like to summarize from what you saw, from what he presented is basically three key benefits that I can see. The first one, the first benefit for uh, our partners of the virtual networks is obviously the cost efficiency and the increased productivity by using the system as you can expand a network capabilities by software management and not hardware investments, obviously. Another benefit that I can see, which is not final, which is non-financial actually, would be the um, mentioned that it's a much more secure communication uh, system that you have now by using this, as all connections between the uh, VPSs are perfectly secure within serverware. And that's a big, big advantage as we all can see increases in the risk in telecoms. But beyond those two first benefit, I would, uh, I would like to say that basically serverware, um, um, is providing some kind of a peace of mind for any ITSPs or any MSPs or partners uh, by using geo redundancy, which is the best way to secure the continuity of your business by providing um, a back-to-back -back, um, system and setup that will help our customers to um, guarantee 99.99% .99 of continuity of business and secure telecommunications to their customers, the end users. So that would be the three key benefits that I can see from um, several way of 1.2 and all the features that Yasmin presented. So you can reach out to uh, Bicom Systems by just basically sending us an email at sales at bicomsystems.com or alternatively uh, um, an email to myself at business-success at bicomsystems.com. 
and we would be happy to lead you through a presentation of our product and uh, put you in contact with our sales team. Okay, great. Thank you, Patrice. Let's uh, get to a few questions now. First, uh, can you talk to us a little bit about the redundancy systems themselves? I know you mentioned you, that you have geo redundancy for the uh, for the serverware uh, four point two, but can you tell us a little bit more about the redundancy systems? But what I can say on the sell side is that it's a new feature that we released um, um, in July 2021. So it's not even a year ago. So it's really uh, a feature that's been um, very well accepted by our customers. That's been asked for a while ago, again, to ensure the continuity of their business. Uh, maybe Yasmin, you can add some comments on the technical side here. Uh, yeah, just just to pull uh, uh, to pull all together regarding the redundancy. So there is something that uh, I hope uh, uh, our audience could see on the when I explain the the uh, additions we have. Uh, so on the mirror and the cluster additions, uh, we established the secondary site, and uh, this is uh, the data redundancy. Uh, uh, site, which is precisely uh, the first thing that we are recommending those two uh, additions. And after that, the geo-redundancy came as a, as a geolocation, so to have uh, the other site on totally different uh, geographical location, just in case of uh, anything being that can uh, affect uh, the primary location. Uh, but uh, to, to, to to really push the real geo redundancy and uh, the, the real benefit of it, uh, the site monitoring to automation takeover is established in order to, uh, like Patrice already said, to, to really give a customer peace of mind, since it is possible to create uh, automatic takeover based on some uh, uh, actions uh, in order to have a system up and ready, even though the sys administrators are, I don't know, sleeping or something like that. Okay. Um, uh, you talked also about security uh, for the product and you mentioned how it is actually built into the software, but uh, just to give us peace of mind, can you talk a little bit more about how secure these products are? Okay, so uh, when it comes to uh, security, uh, so basically we have several things that kind of benefits the security. Beside what we already said, as we could explain that we 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 are trying to close uh, all all exposed uh, uh, points to outside world. Uh, beside that, uh, redundancy part is also doing as a prevention and the possibility to, to restore uh, at some point in the past, uh, just in case if the uh, data are affected by any malware or uh, God for sake, ransomware. Uh, and there's also some technological uh, parts uh, of the serverware, like uh, set file system that really uh, fulfills idea of restoring the, the, the um, uh, taken snapshots. So altogether should really uh, push the, the, the security part of the serverware on the uh, top level. Okay. Now, if uh, I have a serverware three, can you tell me what the cost would be to upgrade? So serverware three to upgrade to serverware 4.2, which is the latest version would come free. Uh, even if it's a major upgrade of one of our system, we decided to have this one free unlike uh, the other uh, product that we have like PBXware, which comes um, at a cost. So yeah, I can confirm it's an upgrade that comes for free for our partners. Okay, that sounds great. Um, and if you have, any earlier version of serverware. Can you uh, discuss with us what the steps are to upgrade? 
Oh, it's very simple. You can basically reach out to either your account manager or directly to support our support team by opening a ticket. And our team will lead you through the process and they will take it from, uh, from here. So it's just like any regular upgrade. You just contact our support team and they will um, proceed with the upgrade. Okay, uh, Yasmin was talking about the, the three different versions you know, with the mirror and the clusters. Uh, does that mean that the, the serverware itself has some limitations? And if so, what are they? Yeah, we can not say about limitations, uh, Bruce, if I understood you well. Uh, th these are pretty much uh, solutions to really fulfill uh, on different levels and needs uh, what really customers want to have on their side. Since, of course, that with, with the bigger uh, uh, redundancy, the backup options and the security, also there is a bigger price, of course, but uh, we didn't want to limit it, uh, the customers on that. So the, that's why standalone edition also is, is there. Uh, so I think we have a nice uh, uh, levels uh, to a company really uh, pretty much all the needs from the small uh, small businesses to much larger customers. So with the cluster, you really can uh, 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 put your, your end users uh, because uh, the serverware is uh, flexible, scalable, and it can fulfill uh, much larger uh, much larger scales of, of uh, complexity of infrastructure to also to fulfill uh, multiple clusters. And uh, as already said, with, uh, with addition to geo redundancy, uh, the customers are secured. Uh, VPS is running on the uh, processing host are also able to, uh, to be managed uh, and uh, with uh, additional alerts uh, who will, uh, in case that any VPS is uh, going down as a fail or something like that, uh, gives an option to users, uh, to administrators to act uh, respectively. So I believe that uh, when we are talking about limitations, we cannot call it as a limitation, but really as a guidelines for a different purpose and the different uh, customers, different side of customers. Okay. All right. Um, the, this uh, is a solution that sounds like it's perfect for uh, remote and hybrid work. Um, I'm just wondering, can you address, uh, can you address this as far as working remotely? Yeah, how it benefits it. Yeah. Sure. Well, first we are talking about the cloud solutions uh, and virtualization as well. Uh, since uh, the the whole point of the uh, Biocom products ser from serverware and others uh, are uh, supporting the telephony and the unified communications, how it really benefits the remote uh, work is with our uh, other uh, solutions like uh, PBXware. Uh, so uh, for telephony and the uh, Glocom with the uh, and Glocom meeting and uh, with the collaboration uh, tool. So uh, uh, with additional tools and products, we provide uh, or the with the uh, uh, customers and partners to end users uh, possibility uh, to use these solutions, uh, which are hosted on the cloud which already uh, explained uh, a business continuity model, uh, with, which do, don't depend on the, the, the hardware stored on the uh, company site. So regarding work from uh, home or work from anywhere, I mean, we are doing it every day. Uh, today I'm in office, uh, yesterday I was in, in home using pretty much all the products uh, we are talking about right now. Okay, that's great. Um, could you talk more about some of the possible software integration options? Okay, that is a teasing question, uh, an interesting one. Uh, I can just say this, that uh, in future release, uh, and the next release uh, even, uh, we will introduce something that will, 
I think I answered the, this question. And we will make uh, 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 our product serverware and the customers much closer. And this is pretty much I can say uh, about it right now. Okay, well, it's a, it's a good segue to the next question, which is uh, not related to 4.2 features. What can we expect in serverware for the next releases? Yeah, that is that's my same so the same same answer here. Uh, <laughs> I really believe that that will uh, that this will be something that will really push the customers much more, much more closer really to 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 understand the real benefits of this product. So not not to see it only as a as a, as a support of function to uh, telephony and uh, uh, omni communication or communication. Uh, but something even uh, much more interesting to, to customers. But right now, uh, I will just leave it, uh, let, let it uh, wait. Okay, that's, that's fair enough. Um, I've got one final question for you. And, and uh, Patrice, this is probably perfect for you. And it is, why should I choose Bicom Systems? Well, I can spend, I guess, 45 minutes in explaining how, why you should choose Bicom Systems. But I guess the first, one of the two main reasons to choose us in comparison to others would be, uh, I guess, number one, our channel strategy. We don't deal with the end user. We have a very clear strategy and a sales strategy from the, from the beginning when we started in this uh, market. Um, we exclusively deal with uh, uh, MSPs, ITSPs, and professionals. We will never be in contact with your customers at all. That's not our, that's not our policy. So we dedicated all our marketing uh, tools, uh, our sales actions, and our organization in that direction. And again, I think that makes a difference. Uh, that consistency um, would really make a difference in comparison to some other providers on the market. And the second question, uh, I guess, is related to our product. I mean, Yasmin explained all the beauty of using uh, serverware and all the, the features that are into it. Geo redundancy, just one of them, and we are having, you know, a great success since we launched geo redundancy, especially in the U.S. with on the U.S. market, which is a, a kind of um, our, our, you know, main market. This feature has really been. Uh, been asked and demanded by our partners. And since we launched it, it's really, really uh, having a great success. And the other uh, other product that really make a difference is our PBXware, obviously. PBXware is one of, uh, you know, the true multi-tenant for the multi-tenant version, one of the true multi-tenant PBXware uh, available on the market today. And again, that's not that's not just a marketing uh, a statement that I'm making here. It's a true multi-tenant system that our customers really, really um, enjoy using because it's so reliable and so scalable that you can start your business pretty much from very little things and to grow by using a single, uh, single license, a single instance, and sell to up to 200 tenants as you grow again. So yeah, in, in a few words, our product and our sales strategy, which is very clear, would make two uh, main reasons to choose Biocom uh, over others. Okay, um, and that did lead to, a, to another question, actually, uh, if I may. And that with the, the PBXware and now this um, new serverware, are there overlapping features? Um, and if so, can you, Kind of let us know what those are. Well, uh, regarding PBX sphere and the there uh, there are no overlapping features. There are companies, in fact, I call it as a features that accompany uh, the PBX sphere uh, need. Uh, something that uh, it's much easier to manage uh, via uh, serverware. So. Uh, uh, I hope that the whole story about serverware and uh, this uh, idea of virtualization uh, is really given the answer how, so PBS is one of the, the, the uh, products that will be run on the uh, VPS. And by using the serverware, it is much easier to, to manage all the things that 
It may be uh, some of these can be done uh, on the PBX sphere, but uh, and this redundancy or overlapping, uh, even if if it can ha happen, uh, that will just benefit of uh, the the uh, the model of business continuity for the the products that will run on the VPSs. So I was I can just say that uh, if there are even if there are existing any uh, kind of overlaps. Uh, they are for purpose there to accompany the, the business continuity model. Okay, great. Well, I think that's going to do it for our webinar. Our thanks to Bicom Systems, Yasmin Mazet, product owner, and Patrice Verma, business success manager. Now, before we go, I want to remind you that by attending this webinar, you automatically are enrolled in the Channel Vision Webinar Rewards Program. And you may have won one of our monthly prizes. For information on the program and to see what kind of prizes you may win, visit our website at channelvisionmag.com slash webinar rewards. Also remember that you can access this webinar and all other Channel Vision presentations on demand by visiting our website at channelvisionmag.com. And now from all of us at Channel Vision Magazine and from our friends at Biocom Systems. Thanks for attending. Have a safe and prosperous day. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye.